Hello, New Hope. Hey, thanks for dropping by. You know, I'm reading Psalm 46. Can I just share the first verse with you? Psalm 46, verse 1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. David begins with God. Now, the heathens had multiple gods. They had gods for all kinds of occasions, gods to cover all kinds of needs, from health to harvest, from the crib to the coffin, and beyond. They had as many gods as the mind could conceive, but not David. David is monotheistic, one God, one God who is big enough to cover it all, the all-sufficient God, the self-sufficient God. So what a way to begin this psalm. God, the God of creation, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel, David's God. That's all. That's all that's needed. And then David said, God is. And the little words are the big words. God is not a has-been God. He hasn't retired, he hasn't been voted out of office, hasn't been replaced by man or technology. He's not a will-be God working his way up the ladder to divinity. No, this is the God who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The God who changes not. The God who is the eternal I am. So get used to it. He's the one constant in the universe. David says, God is our. You know, sometimes it's very appropriate to speak uh, of my God, and David certainly does that. He says, the Lord is my shepherd. He leadeth me in green pastures. But let's not forget that we're not in this alone. We are a part of a community of faith. It's our Father who art in heaven, our refuge and strength. There's a place for me, but there's also a we that defines our faith. God is our. So lastly, I want you to note how God is so beautifully presented to us. Our refuge, our strength, our help. And not just our help. David extrapolates far beyond that. He says, our present help, our here and now help. And not just our present help, but our very present help. And multiple times in the psalm, we are given the reassurance that God is with us. In verse 1, a very present help. In verse 5, God is in our midst. Verse 7 and 11, the Lord of hosts is with us. And then David makes the application for us in the very next verse. So let's look at those two verses one more time. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, will not we fear. There you go. Just what we need. Lord, fill our hearts so full of your presence today that every fear is driven from us. Amen.